S. Andrew Ridgely gives emotional tribute to George Michael at 2017 Brit Awards. Andrew Ridgely paid an emotional tribute to his close friend and former Wham! bandmate George Michael at the Brit Awards on Wednesday evening. The 54-year-old was joined by the band's former backing singers Pepsi and Shirley at London's O2 to honour their late friend, whose sudden death was announced on Christmas Day. Sharing a series of anecdotes from their early years growing up in North London, he said, We were two boys who shared a love of life-affirming music and a sense that we understood it. Careless Whisper was the song that got us signed, showed his extraordinary talent and the song which launched his solo career. Ridgely also praised his friend's music, adding, He understood love, loss, and grief and in his music, he helped to heal the wounds life left on us. Shirley also shared her memories of joining the pair, saying, The three of us hung out together, listening to music and making up dance routines. These innocent moments became the seed from his amazing and enthralling showmanship was conceived. An emotional Pepsi added, We always knew that George was destined to become a star in his own right. George, Andrew, and Shirley changed my life by choosing me to join Wham! These three amazing friends took me into their fold and there was so much laughter, fun, and kindness. They were truly wonderful times and I will always cherish them. George wrote from the heart and from his own experience and his fans have shared how his music changed their lives. And Shirley could not stop the tears when she said, the side of George that was unknown was the help he gave to charities. He gave so many people the chance to change their lives and anyone who asked for help, invariably got it. George was like a brother to me and I will always be so proud of his achievements. His wonderful way with words spoke to everyone and his beautiful voice will live on forever as a gift to us all. Andrew then said, his is a legacy of unquestionable brilliance which will resonate years to come. I loved him and in turn, we, you have been loved. George is said to have introduced Shirley to her husband Martin Kemp and, and as their son Roman revealed in his tribute at Christmas, forced Martin to call her. Their son affectionately referred to George as Yog, yours only George, and it was later revealed that there was reunion planned for Boxing Day, featuring Martin, Shirley, and Roman. Andrew and George forged a close bond in the early 80s when they were part of the band The Executive. They went on to create Wham! in 1981 and eventually their demo got picked up, with Shirley confessing on Wednesday that she remembered mailing out the tapes. Explaining how Shirley came into the fold, she told The Independent in 1997, I'd been friends with George and Andrew since school, I was the year above them. George used to make up all these dance routines which we'd do in nightclubs, we were either great or so bad that everybody cleared the floor. Wham! Started out as an extension of the dance routines. George was the organizer, Andrew had all the charisma, I went out with Andrew for two years. My mum adored both of them. Pepsi and Shirley forged the eponymous in 1986, when Wham! Split, after meeting in 1982 when the band was looking for another backing singer. Later on Wednesday evening, Andrew introduced one of George's favorite singers, Coldplay frontman Chris Martin, to pay tribute. Chris took to the stage to sing 1987 hit a different corner while a video of George singing the song played throughout, their voices mixing for an unforgettable duet. During the In Memoriam segment, music from George, David Bowie, Prince, Pete Burns, Viola Beach, Glenn Frey, and Leonard Cohen played as the names and faces of those who the music industry has lost played appeared on screen. Poignant footage of George speaking was also aired as Chris sang. Before the tribute, guests and fans in attendance at the show were asked to stay silent for the entirety of the performance. At the end of the song the star-studded audience, which included the likes of Ed Sheeran, Ellie Goulding, Rag and Bone Man, Rita Ora, and Charlie XCX, rose as one to give a standing ovation. Organizers of the Brits had previously tweeted about the tribute to George. They wrote, The Brits will pay tribute to George Michael tonight, a true British music icon. The tribute came after the Grammys remembered the last Christmas, Careless Whisper, and Faith Singer, with a performance from Adele one of the highlights of the ceremony earlier this month.
the British singer famously restarted her slowed-down version of Fast Love after problems with sound. My earliest memory of being a fan was Fast Love, she said following her performance. When the video came out, I was blown away by how hot he was. The star also told how devastated she was when the singer died. I grieved for a while, she recalled. On Boxing Day, I said to, partner, Simon, Konecki, I have to do this tribute. George's, family didn't want one at first, but they came back and said they specifically wanted me. As well as Ed Sheeran and Katy Perry, who last appeared at the awards in 2014, Robbie Williams and Bruno Mars were also performing at the O2. Sales of Michael's song soared in the weeks after his sudden death. Police have said a post-mortem examination proved inconclusive and the results of further tests are yet to be revealed. His death is being treated as unexplained but non-suspicious.